it is still, what is it, July 14. Um, after I posted this video, I started thinking, okay, why are they coming out telling us that there is a tremendous spread of mosquitoes, ticks, fleas, all of them carrying diseases like Zika and Lyme and Dengue, and even the plague. Well, there has to be a reason. And I thought one of the reasons is to release those genetically modified mosquitoes that are going to kill off those mosquitoes that carry diseases. And a couple of subscribers left links to, well, one was this article, Feds Unleash Millions of Wasps on 24 states. What I found interesting is the wasp, it's about the size of a pinhead. The stingless wasps are more likely to be mistaken for gnats than anything else. The word wasps does create alarm but they are very small, not recognizable to the average person. I am not kidding. Tonight, I killed a bug that was very small in my kitchen. And I thought it was a flea or a gnat. And then I got my magnifying glass and I couldn't figure out what this thing was. It may very well have been one of those wasps. But the two dozen states from Massachusetts to Louisiana, wow, we are being inundated, inundated. I came across this, and if somebody linked to this below my video, then I want to thank you. I can't even remember. America's free, first free-roaming genetically engineered insects are coming to New York. Great. This was July of last year. So these genetically modified moths probably were already released. And there's a problem here. There's a big problem here with the release of these genetically modified insects. And I'm going to get to that in one second. But the moths, these genetically modified moths, were released by that British biotech firm Oxitech, the same company releasing the genetically modified mosquitoes. And many have posted videos on those genetically modified mosquitoes the release of those in Florida. Well, they have been released in the Cayman Islands, Prince Edward Island in Canada, Malaysia, Panama, Houston, I don't know if Houston actually did release them, Florida, and other states. Um, in fact, let me see. The EPA approved the release of weaponized mosquitoes in 20 U.S. states. But the truth is, we don't know if these moths, mosquitoes, and the other insects that are genetically modified, we don't know if they've been released or not. We don't know if they're releasing all types of genetically modified insects, they are planting genetically modified trees, everything is becoming genetically modified, so they may, as, they may have already released, even in your area, these insects. But what are the states? California, Connecticut, Delaware, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Massachusetts, Maine, Maryland, Missouri, New Hampshire, New Jersey, Nevada, New York, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, Tennessee, Vermont, and West Virginia. 
as well as Washington, D.C. And in April, and this article was November 8, 2017. So in April of 2018, Oxitec began a 12-week field trial that involved releasing 20,000 male genetically modified mosquitoes in Stock Island in the Florida Keys. The Florida Keys, you guys, you were fighting the release of these mosquitoes. So, April, there was a 12-week field trial. Amazing that they are releasing these genetically modified insects because they haven't done the studies to find out what <laughs> what these genetically modified insects will do to the environment but to the health of animals four-legged two-legged we are we are in such deep trouble here but genetically modified the list of insects this is what I was able to find mosquitoes diamondback moths bull warm worm moths and bees bees great our number one pollinator yeah cause for concern no specific regulations on on the release of all of the genetically modified uh, life forms. There was no regulations on the planting of genetically modified trees. And I've posted studies on this. And many have said, we will not know what the consequences will be on the the uh, biosphere of the regions that they are planting these trees. Well, we don't know actually what the consequences will be on these genetically modified mosquitoes, moths. Hate to say this, New Yorkers, but the release of those moths which were, let me find out exactly where. They say it's a field trial in a small area of upstate New York. And that will become the first wild release of an insect modified using genetic engineering in the U.S. I don't believe that that is true because they have been. Do we not consider mosquitoes insects? Are they something other than insects? All right, um, the problem with this release is that the there have been several studies that have shown genetic engineering to not be as safe as mainstream media claims they are, these companies like Oxitec claims they are, like our governments claim they are. It's touted by its promoters as safe and it's a more precise version of genetic engineering. This is called uh, genetic or should I say gene editing they're using gene editing and well studies have shown that their the gene editing is coming up with unwanted mutations and they don't understand what those mutations will manifest and they could very well manifest changes 
that will lead to disease, cancer, allergies. Oxitec claims that the mosquitoes, the release of these mosquitoes, will kill off the biting mosquitoes. The release of their genetically engineered mosquitoes will not bite. That is not true. It is not true. So, the release of these mosquitoes biting human beings, they transferred their saliva into that human being, and that saliva has not been tested. The, the guy that wrote this article, and let me get his name, Jeffrey Smith, founder of the Institute for Responsible Technology. Um, he was one of the one of the um, oh God, the opponents of the Florida Keys mosquito drop release. He testified in January 2014, and Derek Nimmo, a principal scientist at Oxitec, he testified as well. Oxitec had already released millions of these mosquitoes in the Cayman Islands, in Brazil, in Panama, in Malaysia. They were ready to release them in Florida and after the hearing, he asked this Oxitec scientist if they ever analyzed the saliva from these genetically modified mosquitoes, since the saliva enters the bloodstream of the people who are bitten. And Oxitec scientist, this was his response. Oh, we're just now doing research to see if the protein produced by the inserted gene was found in the saliva. So they already exposed populations in those areas to mosquitoes to that saliva before doing any research. And he explained to this Oxitec scientist that there was another study, cystic fibrosis study, showing that a single inserted gene can create widespread changes, including new toxins, allergens, carcinogens. And he said to this Oxitec scientist, don't you think your company should analyze everything in the saliva? And the scientist said, oh, that's a good idea. We have people releasing so many toxic substances. And they don't care what the consequences will be. They don't care. So, um, yes, once studies come out showing that this genetically modified or gene editing, that the science, what they claim, that all of this is safe. We've seen it with Monsanto. They begin, they level attacks against those scientists that have proved our governments and corporations wrong. And they did the same thing with this study. One of the studies in the article that I was just on, this unexpected mutations after this gene editing process that they use. It was published in Nature Methods. The article was retracted in April 2018. Funny that Oxitec was just about to do 
a field trial in the Florida Keys with their genetically modified mosquitoes. It can also get you killed. Woman fighting release of genetically modified mosquitoes found dead in hotel pool. All right. Um, I tried to find out if, in fact, this company did release the genetically modified mosquitoes in the Keys. I don't know. Uh, residents of Monroe County in Florida voted in favor of the release of these genetically modified mosquitoes. Look, you know, it doesn't take much. It doesn't take very many brain cells to say, okay, genetically modified mosquitoes, maybe I should look into that to find out if it's safe. And people just don't, their brains don't operate that way. They hear from you know, people who, I don't know, they think are intelligent, like scientists, or they hear from government officials. It's safe, and that's all they need. It's not safe. Uh, I'm posting this video because after posting this video today, I realized, you know what, guys? We may be seeing an awful lot of the genetically modified mosquitoes being released on an awful lot of areas. So just stay alert to what is happening in your area. And if you see that, you know, your uh, town council, your local government has approved the release of these genetically modified mosquitoes, I don't know if Houston finally approved the release. I couldn't find any information on that. But Houston was considering it after Harvey. You want this stopped. You want, you don't want this to happen. But you know what? This is what I'm hesitating to say at this point. What the hell difference does it matter? I'm not kidding. We have genetically modified food. We've got poisonous water. We breathe air that is poisonous. And we do have our military, our government, releasing these diseases like Lyme and all engineered. We are living a time of great bio warfare that, my God, the unleashing of all of the different weapons that they have is phenomenal. Unprecedented. We've never lived this time. So, um, I mean, at this point, it would take a huge army to get any of this stuff. So, I don't like to end on that note. What difference does it make? I sound like Hillary Clinton. Oh my God. Ugh. Well, that could make me really nauseous. But um, we're 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 facing so many assaults, and when you think about all of them, it, it it's, it's really just overwhelming. Anyway, I'll link to all of this information. Good night, guys.